Alright everybody, we're back for some Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Uh, I'm getting kind of weighed down, so let's just drink the fuck out of so whatever the hell this is. And I'm... <laughs> what? Alright. Oh, look at this guy. He's been dead for ages. Alright, so now we got our weapon. And uh, this is uh, how we're gonna play. I really enjoyed that last part. And it's for a good reason. It's mostly that this isn't obviously a horror game. Um, it's just pretty far away from a being a horror game. Uh, you know, I like it because it was it wasn't this game's central focus. So you know they could have that, and it's not scripted at all. As in, like you know, it's just you kind of uh, have a bit of a horror part. That's that's it. And. When it's scripted, it's obvious. When it's when it's not, it's much more fun and much more impressive when something actually does happen. And so that's why I like it. Uh, that's something that's a plant inside the locker. So uh, this flashing that you're seeing is uh, me being drunk. Oh, some slug rounds, some more ammunition, and some grenades. And now I am fucking overburdened again. Whatever. Here's the problem. If I walk around, I can't basically sprint to where I want to go, because look how fast my stamina goes down. It's awful. I know. I, I don't know what to drop, though. I just drank all my vodka. Um, dude, I really don't know. I mean, these weapons are everything I have. I mean, I can use up some of these. Oh, these energy drinks I can run with, I guess. Oh, well, there's a military hel helicopter here. Oh, whatever. Let's just go this way. Things are not going so well. Maybe I'll just shoot all my, my ammunition at them. Oh, I'm dead now. What? Why was there a military guy all the way over there flanking me? Well, that wasn't good. Uh, I'm gonna run back inside this time. Some reasons only known to me. Just because they like to flank. And also I'm still drunk. This guy over here wants some. Oh god. I have to be careful. This is the what this is what leaning was made for, guys. Wow. Okay. And now, now I'm overburdened burdened again. I don't know what from, but whatever. Let's eat some pies. Hopefully, hopefully everyone's dead. Uh, they should be because they would have all come rushing from the sound of bullets. Oh, cool bread. Let's go eat that. Fuck that. Fuck bread. I'm not, eat, I'm not taking any more of that. Okay, so, fuck the military truck. Oh god. Seriously? I was just, I was, I, it was just like, firing at the fucking gate. And then he fired through it, whatever. I will, I will be butt mad at that. Where I should just scope in all the time. Look, they're everywhere, the military. Where's this guy? Oh, he's got a med kit for me too. I'm getting tired of this fucking military. Fuck the police. Alright, well, I'm gonna just walk over here. Oh, these guys are bad? Really? I assume they are. Oh no, he's military, right? Well, I, it's because I can't interact with him. He's bad. And he's military, just like I thought. Okay, no more vodka for me. I've been drinking too much. And this would be uh, another bandit. What happened to the two guys that were up here? There's a guy, um, there's Bullet. 
And, and the other one, uh, which I don't know where they are. Which is quite unfortunate. Because we have to go return to the trader down there. There's also a slight mission over there. Uh, I don't see them on my map anywhere, so you know what? I think uh, they're gone. They're apparently supposed to give me some sort of reward for some reason, uh, but, you know, they're not here, so what am I supposed to do? I have a fuck ton of ammo and a weapon repair kit, which I don't think is useful at the moment. Oh, well, maybe it is. You know what? I, I'm fucking, I'm not gonna be. I'm just gonna use it. I don't care. There, now we're at full capacity. And that used up some of my stamina, actually. Because, unfortunately, I have to walk back with all this shit. You know, what happens if I drink soda and then, and then run? Wow, it does absolutely dick all. And everything is, uh... This is, this is vintage, uh... Stalker? Oh, no, never mind. I'm guessing I was over an anomaly of some sort. We got these guys. I'm gonna shoot all my weight away. Where's the other guy? Corpse is a little bit down here. Oh, there he is. You know, I might as well check him to make sure there isn't any uh, medkits on them. It's just, it's most unfortunate I have to, uh. I have to fucking. Check these guys and and walk around. All right, let's see where we're going. We're going down here. We're also going to go into that little village there. Oh, and grenade. Oh yeah, that's right. We do have grenades. We have a lot of grenades. We got six and then one over here. All right, switched to it by accident. And we also have this weapon. Actually, I didn't really talk much about this one, but this one fires. 18 millimeter PVP and 19 millimeter full metal jacket, which I think. I have a ton of that in that place with the stash, um, or maybe not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, the submachine gun. Maybe we do. Cause then that dude. That do you know how useful that would be? Really useful. At least five useful. All right, let's go inside this camp here, cause we have a mission here, and we're in the wrong place. So it says. Uh, Shit, what's, what, what's it say here? Um, we found so much stuff, a couple of artifacts. He wants me to... Wait, wait, wait. He, said he wants me to... Uh, if you can find him, give him a lead greeting for me. So, basically, he wants me to kill the stalker. And then I have to figure out how to get in here. Oh, there's a wall. So, he wants me to kill this guy. Which I, I have no qualms doing. My, my main concern is that the stalker faction is just going to absolutely fucking hate me. Alright. So he goes, hey, hey, you want an awesome gun? Uh, I found something near y y Yantar, a stash, I guess. This is a Gauss rifle among many things. I tell you, this thing rocks. And with 100 meters of it, as good as dead. You can have it for just 800. Uh, and so I can say, here's the money, or, nah, keep it. Uh, money's hard to come by. Gauss rifles are really good weapons. Okay. We can, if you, well, we can here. We can give them the money, because it's just 800. Because, excellent, wait here, I'll go get it. Waiting. Let's see my Gauss rifle. I mean, it, it's not that much money from me. That you, we're watching him go. Listen to me carefully, sucker. Have you heard the story of Robin Hood? Well, your money went to feed the poor. Forget about it. Try sticking your nose here again, and you'll be crawling back to your mommy. You're still alive. Now we're gonna kill them all for lying to me.
Look at that shotgun guy from like all the way across here. All the stalkers are gonna be mad at me, sure. Who cares? And there we go. The mystery of the uh, assholes solved forever. Come out with your hands up and the railguns in front. Where the fuck is he? It's it's hard aiming down the center. Oh, he's just got buckshot rounds? Fuck those. So, you know, factions get a little bit butt mad that you kill people, but whatever. Right. Uh, oh, look at that gun he has. This is a new one. This is a... Uh, it's actually slightly better than the one I have. It's got an ACOG scope. Well, or it can have, I think. Oh, yeah, I can have an ACOG scope. I can actually put that on here, I think. No, I can't. So, here, I'll just show you this gun. I don't think I can really take it, though. Yeah. So. Let me, uh, take this guy's ammunition. Just to show you how it handles. I can't really take this one, though. It's a, it's a nice weapon, but... I don't know. Oh, shit, it's worth a lot, actually. I, I really should find a way to bring it with me. Um... Or use it, you know, even. Fucking hell. I don't need I don't need an outfit repair kit. I wanna kinda sell that. Uh let's just eat a bunch of shit. There, now now we can actually take it with us. Well, it makes a really creepy noise. Let's see the guy that uh I mean he has his pies, but I'll just eat some of the pies. Fortunately, I don't think I'm making my money back, to be honest. He kind of just had it, but you know, I, I, wa I did want to show you guys what happens when you have that. It's, it's, it's interesting. We don't need anything else here. We've got enough food. We're gonna just walk slowly to the next area. Uh, let's see, where else do we have to go? And I don't. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna bring us back to Trader actually. And fuck me. I just realized I have to walk all the way around. And when I say walk, I legitimately... We can't do it any other way. We have to walk. So let's let's do it. Or actually, no. There's Let's see what's in here first. And there's a shed over that down there. This? That's a brick. It's kind of neat, because you get to explore these little uh, places here, and that's a stash full of nothing. Uh, so I was apparently right, by the way. The stashes don't fill unless you have a, a bandit that tells you about it. Uh, so it, they, they will populate when you see the person that that put the stash there. So they just kind of auto-populate as you play through the game. However, there's apparently mods that you can undo that, uh, and it basically will. Uh, well, you can basically just have the stuff anyways. Like, they'll just be there and you just have to look where it is, see? There's another one. Um, not sure if you can put your own stuff in there, I just assume you can. Anyways, let's go walk to the end here. So let's see where we are right now. We are right over here. Yeah, oh, look, there's another stash right there, but uh, that's where uh, Trader is. So this also happens to be the cave where we actually saw that that interesting piece of armor. So if I run, I won't I won't last for very long. So we can't run. It's unfortunate. Radiation minus ten. Endurance. It's great to see you alive, and even had time to stop by. 
Come inside. There's something interesting coming up that I want to talk to you about. Gotta find a way around these anomalies. Uh, this thing sort of tells me where they are, I think. No, no, they don't. These are mutant dogs, so I'm not I'm not just shooting dogs for fun. Although it is pretty fun. Uh, okay. Go. Yeah, let's just go off the road because the road seems to be the most hazardous. I don't even know why anyone would drive on this road. There's so many anomalies. Yeah, there's some ship going down here. I want to see that stash though. Need need to prepare a detachment and get it. A detachment for what? I'm gonna guess there's some unfriendlies in here. That looks like a bandit. Let's just make sure it is. Yeah, it's pretty much a bandit. Oh, you're gonna pistol me? Come on. I'm, I'm sort of insulted that he would think to do that. That guy, I'm not insulted by. I mean, I'm better than that, come on. Pretty sure these guys are bandits, we can double check. Yeah, that's a bandit rookie. When will they learn? Holy shit, this guy died in an amazing fashion. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I've been shooting off rounds. So... Yeah, so like my weight's actually gone down. I'm losing weight, guys. Alright, uh, yeah, there's nothing there for me. That looks like a stalker to me. Oh, nothing there. Probably on the roof. Or this. Nope, definitely not that. Let's get on the roof. I think we saw this before, but it was empty, but now it's gonna be magically full. Full of goodies. Yeah, this is definitely the, the stash. Let's see what's inside. Uh, we got a Skinner anom Anomaly? What? Th this coat was worn by a stalker who died in the Fruit Punch Anomaly. Having been exposed to anomalous influence for a long time, the coat obtained the ability to speed up metabolism. Oh, so it's like a- I think it's a health regeneration one. Right, I'm too heavily loaded to continue. Fuck this, honestly. I, I don't give a shit about that suit, to be perfectly honest. Eat the chocolate bar? No, eat the sausage. There. That well, that one sausage was the only thing preventing my movement. <sighs> Fuck, I weigh a lot. <laughs> I love the eating noises. So, at this point, that, that suit is actually not that useful to me. So... I'm just gonna let that guy have his little asthma attack over there. Better not fuck with me. It's been a long walk, but we're finally here. 
And uh, let's go talk to Trader pretty much immediately to offload the stuff because I can't run while I have it. In fact, I am slowly diminishing my stamina even as I walk. I just noticed this that it's not completely full, and I haven't even—I'm not running with this stuff. It's—it's—it's it's, it's horrible. But it's mostly because I want that. I don't, you know, I can probably just leave the saga here for now, because to be honest, I don't have any ammo for it. Well, I'm sure we'll be back for it. So go to back. Oops, I meant to actually get rid of that one, not this one. All right, let's go have a conversation. So you paid Exegetine a visit, got the documents. Yeah, here they are. Uh, well, that's interesting, very interesting. Uh, if I hadn't told anyone, they wouldn't. If I had told anyone, they wouldn't believe me. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. You expect this? Uh, it's pretty bad. Well, here, take th these back and give them to the barkeep. Oh, no, you for your efforts. 1,000. All right. Got any special missions? Uh, here's the deal. A box containing the reports made by an expedition went deep north into the zone that had been taken by to the army outpost. By day, it's guarded as if it was filled with pure plutonium, but for some reason at night, they leave only two guards. Okay, go on. So you can do the outpost, quietly recover the box. Do that. I'll pay you anything within reason. Will you do it? I'll try. All right. Keep, keep a low profile. If the military gets pissed off, we're all in trouble. Uh, okay. I'll, I can have him repair weapons. Fuck, I'm broke right now. I don't know. This doesn't cost a whole lot. Excellent work. Uh, where have you learned this shit? Share your knowledge. He goes, uh, okay. He's not sharing his knowledge then. That's where. Well, all right. See you later then. What? Why is there such a it's such a long piece of dialogue for that? It's kind of weird. All right, I'm here for the job, and he gave me some grenades for the, some camp elimination. Uh, I'm not interested in these kinds of jobs, to be honest. All right, let's see what we can sell. Uh, you see, these things sell what for a good the amount. Heck are you bringing me in all this crap for? <laughs> He's so upset. All right, let's see. I, I'm good. Just put that stuff away. We don't need so many energy drinks. Come the fuck on, or anti-drug meds, whatever. Uh, grenades, I definitely don't need these anymore. Just get rid of all of them. Uh, probably not so many bandages. Med kits, I'm gonna keep as many as humanly possible for a totally different reason. Not bad. Some grenades, my boy. You've made my day. Um, so, about this whole stealth thing that he wants me to do, uh, it doesn't really matter, I'm guessing. I'm just supposed to steal it from, from the... The, the military, uh, but you know the military well, guys. Good hunting, stalker. Like, just fuck the military, and fuck the stealth. The stealth does not work in this game at all, so we're not really going to bother too much with that. Uh, so I guess that's it for this episode. See you next time. Bye.